it's Ignite Your Monday, and I'm Nancy Fredericks. I'm going to be talking to you today on a subject that we have uh, discussed before together, and it's about the words you use. I want to share something that was drilled home to me on the word try. A friend of mine, who is also a partner, and I on a corporate deal, she owned the corporate deal, I get a frantic call from her Friday night going, we have to get this done, the client needs it right now. And I go, I can't do it. And it was an area of my expertise, so I had to do it. I go, I can't do it, I've got 20 people coming in and I'm hosting the whole thing for the weekend. I'll try to get it done. And my try is, I'll give everything in the world. I'll come close to dying to make sure it happens. So I did get it done by working late, 2.30 in the morning after everyone went to bed, getting up early, you know, all of that kind of stuff to make it work. And I called my partner on Sunday and said, here's my stuff, and she doesn't answer. And I leave her a voicemail message, and I call her back, no answer. I call her back, no answer. Well, it turns out that she and her family went to the next county for a fair and took the whole day off because in her hearing, try means, oh, I'm not going to get it done. Now, I want you to know the client was happy with us because it wasn't as urgent as I was being told it was. So there's two lessons here. I now use intend when I mean I'm going to put effort into it. So people get that I mean I'm going to be putting effort into it. I don't use try. That's an escape clause. And I also push, push back on time frames and boundaries because I shouldn't have been working all of those hours over the weekend. Turns out that there was give in the schedule. So take those two lessons to heart. And I'll see you next Monday. I am going to be doing an article blog about this, so keep your eye open at thrivewithnancy.com, and you'll be seeing more on this. Thanks, and have a great one.